Hey guys, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. Now this video is going to be about how to finish concrete and specifically how to finish it by hand using a steel trowel and a mag float. This concrete floor is a small addition onto a house. It's about 12 feet by 27 feet. So I don't really need a power trowel to finish this. So my goal is here is just to help teach you guys how to use a hand trowel to get a nice smooth finish on a concrete floor of this size. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. Uh, I specialize in all kinds of concrete flat work, concrete floors, slabs, pool decks. Uh, we do a lot of stamp concrete, a lot of concrete repair. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now and hit the little bell notification so you'll know whenever I come out with a new video. So I thought real quick, I'd just show you how we poured this thing. And it was cold this morning. As you can see, it was about 28 degrees when we started here at 7 in the morning. Um, it's a it's a really, it's late November. And, the you know, the temperatures here in Maine, I live in Maine, are pretty cold this time of year. So the concrete's got hot water in it. It's a 4,000 PSI mix. And we put some, some calcium chloride in for accelerator to help the concrete dry faster. One good thing today is we're pouring on top of styrofoam. And... You know, whenever you pour concrete on top of styrofoam in cold weather, that helps it dry a little quicker because it helps hold the heat into the concrete a little better. The heat doesn't escape. The concrete doesn't cool off quite so fast. So that really increases the set time a lot when you pour on styrofoam. So as you can see, we're just kick screeding this, this little floor. Um, we call that wet screeding. So two of us just grab the screed and we kind of kick our feet backwards as we're going and we got one guy raking there. So we're going to get right into finishing this thing real quick, but I just wanted to show you how we poured it and uh, let's get into the finishing part of it. Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. This video is going to be about how to finish a small concrete floor. So what we got today is we got a little addition onto this camp. We're up here on a lake. Uh, you can't see the lake too good, but up in Belgrade, Maine. And we're going to hand finish this concrete floor. I'm not going to put a power trowel on it. It's not that big. It's 12 by 27. Uh, what we're using for our concrete today is we're using a 4,000 PSI mix with uh, warm water. It's got 120 degree heat water and some calcium chloride as an accelerator to get it to dry. It was 28 degrees out when we started pouring this morning and it's supposed to get up to around 45 today. This has uh, two inches of styrofoam under it so that's going to help help it dry a little bit better and right now it's an hour and a half after we get done pouring so we're going to check the concrete and see if it's about ready to get on. Let's check it out now. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm pressing in oh, about a half an inch. I can press in about a half an inch with my fingers. So that's telling me it's a little bit too early yet to get on with knee boards and a mag and start, and start wiping this. So we're going to give it probably about another 20 or 30 minutes and we'll come back and check it again. All right, so it's a half hour after we checked it the first time. This is about two hours after the pour now. And I'm going to check it again. First time our fingers... Uh, we'll be able to push in about a half inch. Now I'm pushing in and I'm only, I'm only, now I'm pushing in, I'm only getting about a quarter inch there. So that's telling me it's ready to get on. Uh, what we're going to need is a mag, a hand trowel, and our concrete skids. That's what we're going to use to finish this with. So uh, let's get to it. I'll show you how we're going to do it. So as you guys can see, when I'm when I'm mag floating, I'm tipping the mag up slightly to the right when I go right, and then I slightly tip the mag up on the left side to go left. That way the the mag doesn't dig into the surface at all. 
And I'm just putting, you know, medium, medium to hard pressure on the mag as I'm working the surface. I'm going over the surface, you know, two or three times in the same spot and then working my way backwards. And I'm just looking to bring up a little bit of paste, a little bit of cream from where it was bow floated and smooth it out, you know, get out the lines, get out the little dimples from the bow float and just make the surface look a little bit smoother than when it was bow floated. Um, I'm not looking to make it look perfect because I'm not, I know I'm going over it again with a hand trial. So I just slowly work my way back. I use my hand trial just for leverage at this point. I don't need to hand trial it yet. I just want to mag it and, and get the surface all, uh, you know, just get it smoother than it was when it's bow floated, work up some paste, work up some cream, and then we're going to let it sit. All right, so we got our surface all mag floated out. And, you know, the reason for mag floating at first, before you steel trowel it, is the mag float helps, uh, it's just a little easier to fill in any little voids left by the bull float. It's easier to, to float out the bull float lines with the mag. And the mag float still kind of leaves the surface kind of open a little bit so the surface can breathe. We don't want to seal off the surface too early. And, it, and the steel trowel will do that because if you seal off the surface too early, you're going to trap either some moisture under the surface or even some air if you've got air entrainment in the concrete. And uh, what that could do is it could lead to some blistering or some spalling down the road. So you just mag float first. If you just work up the finer cream, the fines, uh, get it to a nice looking even paste on the surface. And don't worry a little bit too much about those lines there left by the mag. The steel trowel will take those out. So just get it mag first and then leave it. We're going to let this sit for 20 or 30 minutes and then we'll come back and and it should be ready to steel trial by then. Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes now since we mag floated the surface. We're gonna get on it with a hand trial and we're just gonna, the hand trial is gonna just smooth out some of the mag float marks and it's gonna bring a little bit finer cream and a finer paste to the surface. So it's just gonna make it a little bit smoother. Again, we're not trying to get it perfect on this pass because we know we're gonna hit it again. And uh, the firmer or the harder the concrete gets, the smoother and the better it's going to look as you go over it. So we're going to hit it right now and I'm going to show you how we'll do that. All right guys, so as we transition to the steel trowel, we really have to make sure that we're tipping that edge up one way or the other, depending on which way we're going, because the steel trowel, if you just keep it flat, it's gonna really dig in a lot more than the mag float would if you kept it flat. So you gotta have, you gotta have a little bit of a taper to it when you're moving it one way and then the other, and then you'll be just fine as far as not dig it in. And then, as far as the skids go, you know, you want you got to make sure that you're always sliding those and not kind of picking up on them with your with your feet or your knees. You want to just slide them one way or the other, backwards, forwards, sideways. Just make sure you keep sliding because occasionally, and especially as the concrete gets harder, the the surface, a little part of the surface, could stick to the bottom of the skids. And as long as you're sliding them, you should be okay. But if for some reason you pick up on them straight up on them you could pick up a little chunk of the surface out with it and then you got to fill that chunk in after so just keep working your way back like you did with the mag float and finish off and then let it sit again all right so that's the first pass with the steel trial the concrete's a lot smoother right now than when we mag floated it so it's not where we want it yet we're going to hit it at least one more time this floor is all getting covered with a uh, hardwood, so it doesn't have to be a perfectly smooth floor, just flat and somewhat smooth so they can put the hardwood on it. But just remember, finishing concrete smooth 
is always a process. You know, you gotta you gotta hit it with the mag, let it dry, hit it with a steel trowel, let it dry, come back, hit it again with a steel trowel, let it dry. It's just a process of a concrete drying and you hitting it each time with the steel trowel and it getting smoother and smoother until you're happy with how smooth the surface is. So on a day like today, like when we started, it was about 28 degrees out and here we are three hours later and it's probably 38 out. A um, little bit of sun today. You know, it's, it doesn't dry too, too fast on a day like today. In the middle of the summer, if it was 80 degrees out and this was out in the sun, you know, this thing would be rock hard by now and we'd be done. But it all gonna, it's going to depend on how hot it is, what time of year you're pouring it. That will uh, play big into just how fast this thing dries and sets up. So we're going to give it probably another half an hour, come back here and, and trial it again. And that's probably going to be good enough for this slab. It'll be perfectly smooth enough for that hardwood floor and they're going to put on it. All right, guys, so it's been about 30 minutes now since we hit it with a steel trial the last time. The sun, as you can see, the sun's getting on it now, which means it's going to dry a little faster. So we're going to hit it again with a steel trial. We've got our trial mag, our trial. We've got our knee boards there and the gloves. And uh, that's probably going to do it for this floor. Like I said, it's getting covered with half inch of hardwood. They're going to glue down the hardwood. So we just need to provide a surface that was fairly smooth and flat for them to do that. If this was going to be a finished concrete floor, if the concrete floor was going to be the, the wear surface, then I'd probably trial it at least a couple more times. Uh, but since it's all getting covered, one more time is going to be plenty good enough for this. All right, here we go. Now, as I'm trialing this a second time, you know, if the timing is, is kind of everything on this, this is where experience comes in. If you wait too long to trial it after you trial it the first time, it's going to be hard to get those trial marks out from the first time you trial it. And if you get on it too early, you know, it's not going to look much different than the first time you trial it. So there's a little bit of trial and error with this, and that a lot of that plays into experience. But you, as I'm trialing it right now, I'm just looking to work out the other trial marks from the first pass and you know again bring up a little more paste a little more cream it should it should start looking smoother as you're trialing it this time and there should be less trial marks and maybe you know less um, ripple marks from the trial if you're holding the trial at, at too hard of an angle you should be able to lower the angle a little bit as you go here on your on your trial so that'll help keep it smoother too but again so we're just moving our way backwards working out the trial marks and if if this was going to be your finished floor again you'd probably want to hit this at least one more time but after two passes with the trial you know one with the mag two with the trial this thing's pretty darn smooth right now guys